We are at a cottage in Northern Ontario. Right. He's trying to get our dog who hides from him under the bed. Don't get stuck. But I'm gonna show you the things that I've been reaching for first for crave wearing. <laughs> Hello, long time no see. Um, I just wanted to start vlogging again because it's it's been really fun. I, I was looking actually at an old vlog of mine with Poppy. She was looking for videos of herself. And I was looking at one when she was really little. We were both watching it and I was like, I miss vlogging. Like, it's really nice to just go through my day and like, with you guys and just kind of share. I, I think it's it's been really it's been really fun. So I, I wanted to just do that again. Um, you can hear Kit. He's trying to fall asleep. He's having a tough time today. So don't worry. I can, I can hear him on the the speaker, the monitor. But uh, hopefully he'll fall asleep soon. Let's cross cross our fingers. And the girls are having iPad time. So I just wanted to film like a little catch up. So I haven't done many videos since my sister left my. Uh, younger sister, she's only a year younger than me, had been living with us for a couple years and she left in March. It was just, just like when COVID was going crazy, like just before everything, like they stopped all, like most of the flights and stuff. Um, and so when, while she was here, I was able to do like more videos. That's why everything has slowed down and, um, and life just got crazy. <laughs> so we, we are going through COVID. I, uh, our town, our city, we're at our cottage right now, is in stage two. Um, so that means you can just meet with a couple more people, more businesses are open, like hair salons are finally open. Um, that kind of thing is happening. And then, uh, hi! Poppy just looked at me, she's like, who are you talking to? <laughs> um, and so that's happening. Um, Lux has done school officially, which is so nice. We've been doing online school here. We've been at the cottage for most of the time. Um, and then we're at, at home for about two and a half weeks um, to just finish up school, see family and stuff, um, celebrate Kit's birthday, get his vaccine, do all these errands. And now we're back at the cottage and like now it's summer, how we had always kind of planned it to be. So Wes is working. His family was just actually up again. It was really nice. His sister was up with her daughter and, um, and uh, Irvin Marg. Uh, Wes's parents were up so it was so nice to be a family and so today is like back to normal they left this morning and it just feels so sad <laughs> and lonely I'm an introvert so I really like to um I always feel like yay to get back to normal when everyone leaves and I'm just like so tired today and just like really sad and lonely um because it's been such a long time without family um yeah, and I wanted to also talk like, so things that this is what's happening right now, like COVID is happening right now, school is all done, so we're in the summer. And then the Black Lives Movement has been really powerful. Um, I think everyone can say that is true. And it's just, um, just trying to educate myself on this whole thing because it has honestly been so eye-opening, horrible. Um, I've always lived in this little, suburban bubble my parents have always told me just love everyone and that's pretty much it that was, those are the talks about race we had because that's what they were taught um so Wes and I are just trying to reevaluate how we can be better humans <laughs> and put um and just help out our um, black friends and the people of color out there that we can with our um privileged voices um I really hope I don't sound ignorant on this, but I just wanted to chat about chat about it all because this is something that we're all going through and trying to figure out how we can help others, help black people the best we can. Um, so a couple of things that I'm doing, I'm gonna write all of these things in the notes, but um, just looking locally, I've, I've used my voice. I don't usually do politics. I usually don't get involved in politics. Um, around where I am, but I researched where our funding was going, um, like the police budget specifically, cause that's been an education too. And just asked for redistributing of like funds. Um, and I've been very specific. Some of the things that people have been writing and I've been reading a lot in like comments and people who know more than I do have been to call, cause calling is um, 
Calling makes a big difference along with email. And then to ask, be specific. If you're asking to, they use the term defund the police, which is actually really jarring and sounds weird to me. Um, but it's about redistributing funds in a more even manner and just like helping, giving it to the, the groups that could do more good in the long run. So I, I did that. So I, I emailed um, my counselor, our mayor, and then um, I sent it to the police board at a bunch of other, a bunch of other places and they're actually having a meeting today. One thing that has come out of it is that we had, um, they had a meeting last night and they decided to take the police out of the schools in Hamilton, which I didn't even know they were in. Um, my kids are like, well, I have one kid in school, so I don't really know. I don't really know what's happening in all the schools right now, but like, that's a really big win. So that's good. So that's positive news. Um, but otherwise it just feels like there's a lot more that we can do. There's like, everyone is, everyone is, um, buying the books. You know, if you guys have any books or anything you're listening to, I'd really love this to be a good resource for other people. So just put it in the comments below. What's help, what's happening, what's helping you through this time, helping who you're listening to, how you're educating yourself, how you're being an ally. Um, yeah, there's a lot. Um, yeah, so I'm just looking to see what I can do with my platform. So just providing sources for like charities, researching charities that um, I can help. Um, adding that in my blog posts and in my feed, um, in my stories on Instagram, and um, also as a consumer. So we're all here. <laughs> Usually people are here on my blog and on my YouTube channel to like see what I have bought and just um, talk about fashion. So I can I can definitely do that with a lot of really cool black owned businesses that I have found, um, including Jade Swim, which I bought through Matches. You can buy it from their, if you're American, I'm Canadian, you can buy um, from their site directly, but um, their duty is really high from the States, from, but from Matches, which is based out of the UK, I believe, um, it's a lot lower. So I'll link that. I got a really cute suit from there. Um, and, but otherwise I plan to do a really big blog post on some other um, pieces that I'm getting and researching and like a big wish list. So look out for that. But otherwise, yeah, I'm just going to vlog again, show you guys my life as is. I was, I've been trying to vlog, but like after my house is clean, I'm like, that's not happening. <laughs> so, so you're gonna have to, uh, hopefully endure the mess and, um, yeah, let's just vlog my real, real messy life, lovely life. And, uh, yeah, let's get through this hard, hard time together and help others the best that we can. Um, yeah, that's it. I'll show you some some fun things that girls were up to today. And then otherwise, I'll show you what um, I'm going to wear. I will see if I have time for that um, because Kit is not going to sleep. So, uh, yeah, here's our day. I know. <laughs> Look at his little outfit. He's wearing tigers. That? That? Do you see you? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Hi. The little tiger king outfit from Carter's. Cute. You cute? Yeah. What are you doing? Kit? Kitty? No, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you being a stinker? No. Silly bum. Right back to it. We are in our messy, messy room, but I thought I would show you um, what I'm wearing today. So I just got this yesterday. This is the Dylan Odessa dress, and it is so good it is so beautiful first of all the fabric is so gorgeous um if you've seen the print it has like mushrooms on it where can i find the mushrooms right there so cute butterflies and it's like a very light poplin and it's so pretty i fell in love with this right away because i loved the contrast stitching and so this is how it sits um after like just walking around all day um carrying kit and stuff but the sleeve is loose. The sleeve is looser than 
normal Doan stuff. So if you had the Sia or the chestnut dress, this is like, this is, they like finally perfected, <laughs> in my opinion, the elastic, because I always felt like it was a little too tight and bunched up a little bit, um, especially considering the size. Because when you see the, uh, the um, outfits on Alex, um, <laughs> everything looks so loose on her and the sleeves are gorgeous. Sorry, you have to... <laughs> He's trying to get to our dog who hides from him under the blanket. <laughs> Don't get stuck. All right. All right. I'll make this quick. So I'll make this quick. But um, yeah, so I love the sleeve now in this. It actually looks like it does in like the photos. Um, It's like loose, but like it also has this released elastic. So it's not like it's like has this girly like frill at the end. Um, and it's just so comfortable. We've had 32 degree days for the past five days. It's been so long. That's like 90 degrees um, Fahrenheit. So it's been so hot. And uh, I'm just so thankful for another like hot weather dress. I have the Willa from last year, which I love. And then tomorrow my meadow dress shows up. So I will definitely show you that. My hus That's my husband's side of the bed. I never touch it because it's just useless. <laughs> Sometimes I pick his socks up for laundry. But uh, anyway, I have to go get him because he is definitely into it. There's the AirPods. So um, I'll talk to you in a minute. So that's what I mean with my messy, <laughs> crazy house and life. But it's fun. Right, Kitty? We're calling him Kitty now. And I know it's going to backfire and he's going to hate it when he gets older. But it's just what we call him. So that's his little nickname. Kit. Say hi. Hi. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kids are in bed and the Roomba is off. Oh, I forgot I was wearing mascara today and I just rubbed my eye. <laughs> and the Roomba is off, so I thought I would do um, a mini tour of our cottage, um, just in case you knew. I got a whole bunch of new subscribers during COVID. I think everyone was watching YouTube. Um, so yeah, we are at our cottage in Northern Ontario. Um, it is about four hours north of the city that we live in Like during the school year. We just got it last year. This is Wes, husband Wes, wrenching on the boat outside. What's I'm that? I'm done. You're done? I'm connecting our 1980s garage door opener to the internet. Okay. <laughs> Good luck. It's always, always fixing. Um, and yeah, we just got it last year. It kind of fell into our laps. It was like a friend of a friend of uh, ours, their parents who, was, who were actually living here full time. So it's like, um, most cottages here aren't like full-time they're just seasonal so this place is done like a house like normally we would have something a little bit more rustic that's what we were expecting to get anyway but um we can be here all the time which is lovely so without further ado here it is there's snickers so when you come up the stairs um the main living space is on the second floor so we have the dining room um the living room and then the kitchen. So it's a really nice open space, which is what we wanted. And then we have the playroom, which is a sunroom, and then our bedroom. So I'll just walk around like this. Dining room space. Chairs are, most of this stuff we got here secondhand. The table we got, it was like a wedding gift like eight years ago. Uh, well, we bought it with wedding money anyway. And then the chairs are secondhand. Um, this cabinet is from the ReStore, which is ha Habitat for Humanity. All the, the proceeds go to that. Oh, that was last year too. Baskets are secondhand. Everything's secondhand except for this IKEA lamp. Um, and those Centro pots. Those are from Centro in Burlington, which is the neighboring city to us. And that's my sad fiddle leaf that I forgot to um, water before I left. And then I overwatered, and now I think I ruined it. But, and then this is uh, a map of the area. So we're near a town called Barry's Bay. And then this is the outside and the view. I'll let you see an on-screen side. So we have a dock, we have a swim dock out there. 
Um, chairs, a fire pit, and then a sun deck by, by the dock. And then we have a little boat shed down there. Oh, this is Wes's awful, awful fish that are actually real, but he did not catch. Um, he found it in the thrift store last year and somehow I let him buy it. But it actually, like if you're gonna buy something awful and monstrous, that's a good spot to put it in the house. And then, um, yeah, furniture recliners, which we love, they're comfortable. And then these chairs, which are originally from Urban Barn. They're the Preston, I believe, which they don't do anymore. But I think they have a similar version. Snickers is eating crumbs left from the girl snack. Um, but yeah, this rug is from, I think originally from Wayfair. We got it off Facebook Marketplace. Chairs are from Facebook Marketplace. Uh, couches and the chairs are too. And then this, actually, this uh, coffee table is from Costco. It was on clearance. This is Wes's pair, uh, Open Oma's Ottoman. Side tables are second hand off of Facebook Marketplace. I think I want to change the bases at some point because they're really clunky, but I love how big they are. Um, we just have some blankets back there. Fireplace, which Wes had a fire in, but like had a, like they had a chimney fire in here when he came out by himself. And so now it doesn't work. So we need to replace that. Everything was okay. Nothing burned. Um, and this is the kitchen. Secondhand stools, of course. And I think these are Ikea cabinets. People keep telling me that, so I'm not really sure. We have two coffee makers. We have a drip one, which was here, and then we brought our Jura um, from home because that's our favorite. And we got that secondhand, actually, for like $200. They're so expensive. We're, we wanted to look to get another one, but we're just like, like $700 secondhand, so don't know about that. And yeah. Then we'll go into the playroom. So this is gonna become, the playroom's going downstairs, I'll show you. This will become just a kind of like a secondary lounge area. So I want like a seating area over here. And then uh, like a t puzzle table, the table's in our bedroom right now, I'll show you, right here. So it's kind of like, and then the babies can be up here. So anyone, any baby who's too young to really be away from their parents, they can all um, be up here. So I'll have some toys in here, but most of them are gonna go downstairs. It's a really beautiful room. The sun rises over here, so this room is the brightest, and I just want to white wall, whitewash the walls, not the trim or the ceiling, um, but just to brighten up this room because it's so beautiful. It's one of my favorite places, and I can't wait to make it like adult um, friendly. And then this is our bedroom. This is the bed. This is like this messy. This is the table, all my packages, and. Uh, clothing stuff I'll show you that in a minute I want to show you some of my favorites and then this is our bathroom I always feel like it's weird to show people toilets like I'm in a 1950s sitcom I'm like that's rude but yeah we have a shower up here it's an ensuite I actually really don't like ensuites because I don't like hearing my husband going to the washroom and it's not connected to the outside so people have to come through our bedroom which no one likes to do um to get to the uh bathroom so um and then this is um, all storage so yeah this is mostly kitchen stuff this is craft the craft cupboard which I'm going to show you because Wes's mom helped me organize it she's like the queen of cleaning and it's so much more manageable now you should have seen it before I should have done that before and after but the puzzles crafts um, workbooks coloring stuff it's great and then the top shelf is like things that the kids have to ask permission for so paint a glue gun balloons <laughs> Etc. So I'll take you downstairs. The girls are sleeping. All the kids are sleeping in the bedroom. So I can't show you the bedrooms today. I'll show you the bedrooms tomorrow. Um, but we have all of these hooks here. Because I can turn this light on. That people can um, hang their stuff on. We just have everything everywhere. And there's Roomba. And there's hooks there. And then the laundry's that way. So this is it's room we're near Algonquin Park the previous owners made these signs on all the rooms and they're beautiful and this is a linen closet and then another bathroom with a tub and perpetually dirty mat that we just cleaned yesterday just put the 
girls shoes, our shoes, hats. And then we have this utility room. So we have laundry here, sink, etc. And then this is storage. So we have sleeping bags, games. We have a printer because we did school here with Lex. Um, extra clothes, etc. Fridge. Um, fizzy water. Now this is where we do recycling. And then we have a what's it called? The vacuum that goes into the wall. Why am I forgetting this word? I don't remember. But um, and then this is gonna be the new playroom. So my bike, my spin bike here. And Wes put up this board and batten. I'm not sure what it's called. Lux made it beautiful with all her art. <laughs> so we'll put a TV here. Um, we'll put like a little counter here for coffee and stuff. Because um, this is going to be where we hang out. So this will be, there'll be couches here. And then the toys will be in here too. And then this will be another bedroom. This used to be one big open space. The previous owner was a contractor. So we had this other this shop. So we're gonna put, that's our old, we had a king bed in here and we're gonna put a queen in here. We'll put the king in another bedroom and then we have bunk beds for this wall. So it'll be like, we call it the bird and suite. Wes's um, brother, brother-in-law, sister, their last name is Burden and they have three boys and they just need a lot of space but they can all sleep in the same room. So this will be their room. To put a door on and the flooring, obviously. But yeah, in here, I can go outside. Hopefully the bugs won't get me. You can see the bunk beds from here. And it's raining, so you might not be able to hear me. But we have, it hasn't rained in like days. So what's this barbecue is there? We have a clothesline. It's the boat that we bought with the property. Our car, the woodshed that we're redoing. And then the garage with all the toys and stuff. I'll show you more tomorrow. We have a swing set back there. So that's the tour and now I'm going to show you um, a bunch of new stuff I got. Everything has been slow and then I just like overdid it with an Ikachu sale. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you not everything I got because I don't have time for that, but I'm going to show you the things that I've been reaching for first or crave wearing. So the things that I'm just like really excited about and I tried on and I'm like, yes, this is awesome. So this dress is from Oak Meadow. I'll show you. The name is called Oak Meadow Kids, I think is the official term. And it's Australian. And it's this beautiful dress. It's T length, so it's like knee length. And look at this. It's like sustainable, woman owned, like just beautiful. Cotton, it's lined. I love it. They have a shorter version of this too. I'll link it. And I think it's just absolutely beautiful. It's really easy to wear. They have two buttons on the back here. And it's just really kid friendly. The only thing it needs is pockets, but like it's really lovely to just wear around the house long enough to wear with kids, and it's just like so pretty. I know they have a wrap dress in this this pattern too. And then this um, top is from Me M I E. Oh, I have this inside out. Sorry, I'll show you what it looks like on. And the rain—you can hear the rain. <laughs> Hopefully, this is not too much noise for you. This is a Nigerian business, black-owned business that I discovered. Um, recently and it's so beautiful they have so many gorgeous linen things and of course it's, what's so nice about well-made things is that you never know that they're inside out because they're so nicely made um, and it's just yeah their stuff is gorgeous they have so many beautiful things but you have to pay duty if you're Canadian I'm not sure if that's the same with Americans um, but hopefully just like message your favorite retailers to like uh, carry them like I'm gonna do that with matches because matches always has the lowest um, duty and taxes so I'm gonna tell matches to carry them because they're amazing and then I have this is all my Inna Kachu stuff so this dress is also a skirt so what it is it's elastic and drawstring at the top um you see the drawstring I'll try this on for you because it's like just very confusing and it's rainy this fabric and it was this purchase that i made and i was like i really wanted a different dress in this fabric and then i got this one because it was similar and i was like oh man i, should, I don't know if i should have done that but i love it as soon as i tried this on i was like i wore it the rest of the day which so surprised me because i was like i might have to sell it because i don't i didn't know if i should have bought it or not 
bought it or not. It was great, so I'll show you that one. So I have that in that print, and then I have it in a plain pink right here. This is inside out. But this embroidery is out of this world. Like, it's so gorgeous. So I'll show you the pattern one. And then this is linen. But look, look at this embroidery. It's so beautiful. And then I have, I have this dress already in pink and I got it in green because it's so nice. This is the army color. I thought it was going to be a little bit darker, but I just love this style so much. And it's like my, the pink one is like one of my favorite things to wear right now. So flattering, so easy. And it's one of those dresses that I wear all day. So I love it. And then this is a top. So I have this, I have this in three colors actually of it in this blue, this pattern, this pink, and then this blue. So I have the dress skirt in this, cause I and I got this top because it was um, styled as a set, and I just love it. So I'll show you, I'll show you what these look like on. And then this is the top and the skirt. It's not technically a set, but they go together, so you could wear it together. This is nice. So the top is a size zero, and the skirt dress is a two. So she has sizes zero, one, two, maybe. I'm not sure if she has a three, but they all correspond to a extra small, small, medium, large. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to tuck this in so you can see it. It's Wes. <laughs> I forgot my thing. You forgot? He was digging underneath. He has a cord bin underneath the bed. Um, anyway, so this has a tie here along with like a loose elastic. I'll show you the dress versions. But, and then it also has, so this is, I like it. And then it also has straps that are in the inside. Boop. So they tie up. So you'll see that soon. But isn't this nice? I'm really happy with this skirt dress situation because it's so versatile and it's one of those things that are actually look actually great for both items. So you know how some people are like some items are like you can wear it backwards, but you never like it like both ways you like it usually just like one way um this i love both ways like I, I don't usually wear skirts because i have square hips so like it doesn't really look that flattering on me unless there's enough volume and if there's too much volume i look like i'm five years old so this is perfect and it's enough volume at the top so it has this yeah again has loose elastic but also has drawstring so you can actually adjust where you want it gathered so you can have, gather it more on the front or on the side and that's it, sorry about my tan feet. I tan so easily, it's not dirt. I'm just super tanned on like one part of my body. <laughs> All of these link below the names of them because she usually does variations of them from season to season. So she might do another skirt um, dress combo. And if I can find that, I'll link that. Matches has a lot of her new stuff, so I would check that, matchesfashion.com. All right, on to the next. And then this is the dress version. Oh, isn't it cute? I just, oh, I just love it. So this is a size two as well. Um, those are little strappies. So I've, yeah, I've already worn this for a whole day and it was just dreamy. I love the length of it. It's perfect. Um, yeah, the Remy is so beautiful. Remy, Remy. It's lined again. And it could shoot lines, I think, most of her stuff. So that's really nice. And it's just really lovely to wear. Not too much fabric. I'm usually a size... Four to a six on top, um, and this is just so adjustable. She she mentions a lot on her um, site or in her comments. Usually, that's just like it's more about volume, <clears throat> but a lot of her stuff is very adjustable and wearable unless it's too small, I guess. But a lot of these voluminous styles are just so easy to wear, um, and she just doesn't really care about sizing. Slash, she like wears a bunch of ranges of sizes. She's mentioned on her. Um, Instagram before which makes sense given like how adjustable these all are so yeah so cute I'll show you the pink one on next I have a sorry the bug bite black flies Ugh. but yeah this is so lovely and then this is the pink version um it's like a blush I forgot to mention all three versions have a come with a waist tie so that's another styling option it's, like, it's probably my least favorite. I don't really love how much, how big this part is. I like it more loosey, loosey-goosey. Um, 
free flowing. But yeah, this is an option. And then this is a size one. So I thought I'd show you that one. But yeah, so pretty. Love the embroidery. Here, I'll show you this. I don't know if you can see much of a difference between a size one or a size two. But it's so pretty. And the pink and the blue are 100% linen. Uh, the lining is cotton, but the outside is linen. And then, yeah, the patterned one is Raimi. This is it. I was afraid it was going to be too much volume and then it would look massive, but it somehow works so well. I think it's so pretty. Love. And then you can see the top, how the ties are on the inside. And then you can just tuck them in for the skirt. Yeah. Cute, cute. I thought I would show you quickly this styling option. This is the cami tank from Doin, and it's in the rose sweet pea, I think. It's the white one. With the pink sorry you can see my bra straps usually i don't like seeing those but um and then with the skirt isn't this cute these tanks are so nice i actually have this in a large i think i could have gotten to a medium because they're pretty stretchy but i like how it fits in um in the waist but you can see that i can definitely stretch out a little bit but yeah highly recommend this too it's really nice to wear and they have a couple colors right now on the site but this is a really cute summery option. See the skirt and the skirt just works as a skirt and as a dress. I just absolutely love it. It's so beautiful. And this is the green tunic. I forgot what it's called. <laughs> I forget what they're all called. But um, yeah, it's adjustable at the neck. This is called the army color. Um, adjustable at the wrist. And then um, it comes with the waist tie that's detachable, so I'll show you. I just think this skirt is so cute, how it goes up on the side. It's really flattering, and but it's like long enough still, like I'm 5'3", and then this isn't like too short for me. And I think the color is so fresh. I actually really love this green. And then what's really nice is her ties are thick. You can see how wide they are. Um, so they're really nice. It's nice to have enough fabric. <laughs> I think it's very flattering. So let me show you what it looks like off tunic style. And it's just really easy, flowy, cute. So you can do this up in a bow right here and it looks really cute. Or you can like, yeah, I'll leave it undone. There's another button here that you can undo. But ugh, it is adorable. Love this style so much. It's so easy. I'm gonna wear this for the rest of the night. <laughs> But I'll show you um, my two other things. And then this is the oak metal dress. It is so comfortable and nice. I did have to pay duty on it. Um, I shouldn't have to make you pay duty on like a sustainable company. I feel like there should be some, it's like some sort of exception that way. But this is just so nice. You can see it's lined right to there. But it is so light and so easy to wear. Um, and you can wear it backwards. I wore it with the buttons in the front too, which is actually really nice because I still breastfeed Kit. Um, so I can undo those and then I could take the strap off. And um, yeah, it's easy. And this is pretty. Very elegant, like summer dress, I think. But still like fun and feminine. It's very much like the Willa dress, if you remember, if you're a Dylan fan, um, but longer. Actually, I should show you my Willa dress one sec. So it's similar to the Willa. I think the Willa sleeves are a little bit longer. Um, the buttons are all the way back, all the way down on it, and it's poplin and it's much shorter, as you can see. So you can get an idea. So it's nice to have two um, kind of versions of this dress. And then this is the me top, the linen. Isn't it cute? It's like very romantic. And she actually has a dress version of it, but the sleeves at the end are open, so there's no elastic. And they actually advertise it um, off the shoulder, but I actually make it like this a lot. And this is how I envisioned when I got it. I was like, I'm gonna wear it with my white capris that I can just fit back into. <laughs> um, and uh, I thought it was just like a really nice, fresh summer look, like really comfy and easy. But yeah, love this red color. Love, love, love. Let me see if I can show you off the shoulder. I feel like I'm showing a lot of like skin right now. One sec. And then this is off the shoulder. I'm so annoyed with my tan lines. I go outside for a minute 
I stay out of the sun normally and I go outside for a minute and then that happens. But um, yeah, this is how they advertise it and it's just so romantic and pretty. I think I should have gotten for a medium because the elastic is a little bit tight, but it fits really well. Like it's not going anywhere. So I think it's so pretty and so romantic. Really good for like a really fun um, patio night. Now we can do patios <laughs> with the girls or a patio date. Um, I think this is kind of perfect. It's a very good like above the table <laughs> look. <laughs> if that's a thing, but it's cute. All right, back on to the sky because I'm so excited to just sit down and in, uh, in the night. Show everyone, can you show me? Yeah. Let's go, the first door, done. <laughs> nope, I, I, I swipe. Oh. There we go, oh, the second one, okay. And that's from your phone? Yeah. Nice. Wonderful news. Just one more door. for me.